I couldn't find any videos on removing the keyboard from an HP Stream 11. Uh, so after trial and error I kind of figured it out. I just wanted to post something in case somebody else had the same problem. Unfortunately this machine got wet and no longer powered on so I just wanted to see if I could find anything underneath on the motherboard that could be cleaned off to get it to work again. Um, I have already removed the keyboard. The whole top comes off together. There are three connectors when you disconnect it. Uh, one for the mouse, one for the keyboard, and one for the power switch which attaches here and is here. Um, in order to get it apart, there are four covers that you have to remove from the bottom of the laptop. The two rear foot covers and there's two small covers that cover the screws that are on the very end. So those just slip right off and then you just remove all of the screws from the bottom of the laptop. They are all the same size so you don't have to worry about which one goes where. Uh, once you get it once you get it apart there are uh, clips across the uh, top of the plastic bevel that hold it in place. So you just start working it up out uh, one section at a time. I just used an uh, old credit card to pop it out. Uh, once you get the front out, it, sh it works out pretty easily. There's nothing that's other than just the bevel edges that hold on to anything, so it should come out fairly quickly and easily once you've got all the screws out. Uh, hopefully somebody else finds this helpful, and you can see some of the droplets of water in here. I'm hoping that I can dry it out maybe and get it to function again, but time will tell. Uh, thanks for watching. Have a good one.